looking into the cup of tea i could see vaguely a woman walking the pattern on the cup encycles her and the handbag as her waves roll and break against the other side of the cup there a man, there a comes, man after comes after her after her in my cup in my cup where did she dissolve to anxiously he searched for her i did the same looking into the cup the cup and i both of the same clay crouching demurely in the cup she tints my desire with cardamom vapors A black bag dangles from the handle of the cup. All the pride of beauty emerged there. Whenever I attempt suicide somebody disturbs the milkmaid calling the postman climbing the stairs janu bursting in to clean the thief sneaking behind the dark well the unexpected blackout the late tedious trains the ever ready to help room boy the traffic police calculating the precise future of speed their unending signs envious joy when i learn of several suicides from the papers a farmer a school kid a family a nation alone and together all the lucky ones succeed a girl of 18 does it 18 times sages mortalize themselves by free will but someone interrupts whenever i try yesterday there was a documentary on various reasons for suicides i wonder do the satellites panting sniffing capture the minute workings of mind like video reports on luminous castles in the great depths of ocean and the snowman who walks from peaks to the clouds step by step and disappears when millions of secrets fly criss cross like waves invisible when machines in their billions remain hidden to lick them up wouldn't there be a place for the lost souls of my ancestors to hide this longing to end myself is no longer a secret everyone knows everything without any secrets i become transparent i wonder am i made of glass today when all shielding palm umbrellas of the maya crossing rain field river hill 
have melted in the towns like the man who metamorphosed in a tale i wish from tomorrow i were a black sea turtle she wishes to carve a sculpture from stone and wood in the rain she carves letters under the full moon she carves the dance of tripura sundari into rivers clouds and waterfalls she carves purity light simplicity within the ocean she carves moments from each ray of the sun she carves a man and into each of his eyes the pulse of the sun drawing the blueprints on the leaves of palms and the sands of streams she carves the ages in memories in fire she carves butterflies still the city edges on madness and hunger hides on the other side of night she carves depth in the figureless food in the figured and the cry of a child in the heart now she wishes to carve a ship from stone and wood a sailor with unshadowed face arises from the ship long arms bearing the sun he swims over sunken sculptures through mighty waves seeking his sculptor with his fingers in hers she draws a new orbit for the moon Once an old bird watcher told me of the songs of Spanish birds apart from this i know little of that land huge bulls ancient churches great wars and wooden warring ships 
nothing to interest me. I, who prophesy by reading the stars and the wind, now think of that country, and of you seated on a bench in an unknown park. Over the phone, you ask me the time. Through you, I hear that place. Without your knowledge, the wind creeps into your phone, reaching my village. I mark the time of the sun with the sap of a green leaf from the western ghats so that you can read it. May your lips that resemble the setting sun of Spain be reborn green from a touch of Dravidian language. Gandhi's statue posted a 5 rupee car to Jesus' statue. If you have atoned for all sins by bearing the cross, don't wither in the sun between two thieves. Leave the churches and come here. My people will protect you. Jesus replied, the sun is not a problem for you because of your cool head. Writers won't attack you because you carry a stick. You are secure. I am unarmed. If I come out, your people will attack me. The postman who stole stamps of letters franked insufficient postage on the correspondence between two eras. Once an ant A hand hastens to secure the window bolt An ant stares at the impending obstacle Hesitates and retracts Holding fast to a crystal of sugar, it struggles and squirms as the bolt carries in. Without letting go courage or crystal, it inspects the cranaries and crevices of the dark tunnel, seeking for what it knows is not there. The space shrinks, pressure builds, temperature swings, the heart takes fright. Tenaciously clinging to the crystal, it pushes the bolt with its hind legs. It tries and tries. The rain changes its course, 
someone opens the window. Friend, was it you who carelessly dropped the sugar there? One such enchanted night, I woke up to discover you and me a hill apart. Cannot touch, cannot speak, cannot eat, cannot sleep together. A bath together? Never. Why so? I asked. As you sat over dad's salon trunk like a doll. Just as someone pointing to a 64 story tower rising into the sky asked wouldn't all die if a plane crashed into it? Like sluiced virgin waters, your dilated eyes gazing into infinity, fixed on the vast expanses, dreamt of a dusk full of wings, a mermaid though denying, countered my wanderings, gathered my tears. After marriage, in the quiet of night, you would call. Is it raining? Has the mango tree flowered? How are Chinu and her little ones? I forgot the name of the dumb valet who drowned in the well. Our writing table in the corridor gave it to me, if not in use. I know not what I feel. How Ali Kuti of Vadaketh House resigned from the Panchayat due to a quarrel with Dad. How Regina once cried on and on. How we managed with a single pair of slippers. How I wept at her marriage, I who did not shed even a tear when our father died. The spark of inebriate words creeps up the spine, slowly, transparently. One such enchanted day, after she died, Amma planted a palm in a pot. It will be only up to her waist. For Amma, she was even now the scale. night, as I stepped out, a girl, just a finger long, on the rim of the pot, stretched out her hand to me for wet lime. Hair spread out, 
blue light scattering in the heavy fragrance of the bridal chamber atop the palm is heard a brittle laughter.